Good morning, friends, and greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Our number is 855-660-4261, 855-660-4261. If you want to learn more about the longevity products, you got questions about ingredients, formulations, you want to help a loved one or workmate or friend get off their medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we're here for you. Likewise, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you simply want to contribute to the conversation, 855-660-4261 is your number on the bright side. If you're interested in joining, joining uh, me and Dixie Sedgwick on our weekly phone calls, we're going to be talking about probiotics and some of the Jordan Rubin products this Sunday. We do them every Sunday, 6 p.m., Mountain Standard Time. The dial-in number is 605-562-3140. 605-562-3140. Participant access code 444-973-POUND. 444-973-POUND. Every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side. We're going to continue talking about hormones which are responsible for everything that happens in the body, every cell activity, everything that happens, everything the cell makes, everything a cell does, which ultimately means everything that happens in the body is initiated by this family of biochemicals we generically call hormones. The body's made of cells and stuff. Think raisin bread. Raisins and bread, cells and stuff. We're like raisin bread. We're made up of, instead of raisins and bread, we call the raisins and bread that make our bodies up, we call them cells and stuff. Action in the body for good or bad, Sickness or healthfulness, wellness or disease occurs at the level of a cell. Body is just cells and stuff. The stuff, the muscles, the bones, the nerves, the blood, the enzymes, everything else. Everything in the body is the result of something that is made in a cell. The stuff is the result. The cells are the cause. The stuff is the material, everything that makes up the body, everything we call our bodies, and the cells are the little 3D printing machines that make it all up. It's really very simple when you break it down this way. All disease is cell disease. That simply means something goes wrong with a 3D printing machine or 3D printing machinery. Everything that happens in the cell happens via a button that is pushed or a doorbell that is rung or a switch that is turned on by a hormone. So cells make stuff and they make stuff via some kind of switch that is turned on by a hormone. Hormone pushes a button, the cells make stuff. The word hormone itself refers to initiating an activity, initiating an action, pushing a button, turning on a doorbell, plugging up a socket. Any metaphor you like to think of, the point is that a hormone hits a cell and the cell does stuff. Hormones turn the outside world into the inside world. They turn the outside environment into the inside environment. Via the activity of hormones, everything we see in our environment, everything we perceive in our environment is turned into us. The body has this exquisite responsiveness to the environment. It responds to the environment and the response 
to the environment is mediated or controlled by hormones. The senses perceive the outside world. We see something, we hear something, we feel something, we smell something, we taste something. A hormone is secreted in response to what we see and smell and taste, etc. And the cells respond by doing something or making something. In essence, the outside world is turned into the inside world, us, via the action of hormones. That makes these things really, really, really important. If we can learn to control our hormones, we can control everything in the body. And there's two major control points. There's two points where we can control hormone secretion. Do you think those are important points? You better believe they are. Unbelievably important. Just think about it. If everything in a cell comes from the activity of a hormone, if we can learn to control our hormones, we can learn to control what a cell makes. That's crazy important, and we have control, at least a degree of control over our hormones. There's three major control points, and we, we need to learn to master these control points if we're going to master our hormones and if we're going to master what a cell ends up making. There's three major control points that determine what kind of hormones are going to be secreted, control points that are in our control. Three places where we can control our hormones. Thus, we can control how our body will show up, how our body will appear via what the cells make and do. If we're interested in controlling our bodies, if we don't want our bodies to be out of control, and we certainly don't, if we want to learn how to master our bodies, we need to master these control points. So what are these control points? What are these points where we can uh, use our conscious will to control our bodies? Number one, the foods we eat. Number two, the thoughts we think. And number three, the feelings we feel. It's as simple as that, you guys. The foods we have uh, eaten by the foods we eat, I'm referring to uh, uh, water and the mighty 90 essential nutrients. They're not technically foods, I suppose, but same idea. And the thoughts we think and the feelings we feel. Every time we eat a food, an entire cascade of hormone chemistry begins. Thus, the importance of foods and nutrients and the Mighty 90. And, and uh, you can probably throw in uh, oxygen as well. Not really a food, I suppose, but a type of nutrient. The foods, the nutrients, Mighty 90, and oxygen are major control points for hormone secretion. And ultimately, major control points for health or the lack thereof. Every time we eat a food, every time we think about eating a food, Every time we take a supplement, every time we breathe, every time we water, uh, drink water, an entire hormonal cascade begins. And this is the same every time we think a thought, and this is the same every time we feel a feeling. Every time we think a thought, an entire hormone cascade is initiated. Every time we feel a feeling, an entire hormone cascade is initiated. This is what is behind what's called the placebo effect. The placebo effect is this miracle that nobody's ever been able to explain, but I'm telling you how it works right now. It says that simply believing that a medicine will work will make it work, or what they call the nocebo effect, which is believing a medicine won't work, makes it not work. The nocebo effect or the placebo effect, these are evidences that we have of the relationship between thoughts and our body. It's called mind-body medicine. And to this day, there are physicians who think that mind-body medicine is some kind of airy-fairy hippie talk. It's not. Via the activity of hormones, mind-body medicine, or, or thoughts and feelings, construct ultimately how our body shows up, construct our body. It's the reason we can think ourselves and feel ourselves sick. It's the reason we can think ourselves and feel ourselves well. Thoughts and feelings are intimately linked to hormones, food and nutrients, oxygen and water, Likewise, intimately connected to hormones and thus intimately connected to how our bodies show up. Broadly speaking, we can categorize two major types of hormones based on their effects. We got hormones of fear and we got hormones of safety. Under the stimulation of, uh, of hormones of safety hormones, hormones of safety, substances like oxytocin, dopamine, acetylcholine perhaps, these are hormones of, uh, that are associated with relaxation and safety. When these things are secreted, we lighten up, we relax, we, we, are, we, have, uh, we feel pleasure. Under the stimulation of fear hormones, cortisol and adrenaline, it should come as no surprise that our bodies contract and that healing stops and sickness begins. Hang tight, I'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Or, uh, let's 
see. 8 to 9 Pacific time, how does that work? 11 to 12 Eastern time, 10 to 11 Central time, I suppose. Monday through Friday, we've also got archives up at brightsideben.com. We've got three plus years of archives, lots of good health information. You can also purchase any of the longevity products you hear us talk about. On the bright side, you hear us recommend or advertise on the bright side at brightsideben.com, or you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're interested in joining the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $10 fee, you can start a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, and help spread the word. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com or call the Brightside Men phone team at 866-735-2470. I am looking for a couple of business builders, hustlers who want to make some money selling longevity products, helping change lives, helping spread information about how important a nutritional supplement program can be. And you can make a significant amount of money building a longevity business, and I can help you do that. I'm looking for a couple of, uh, just two, maybe three folks who are really interested, really, really interested in building a business, and I can help you do that by coming out and supporting you, going out and doing talks. We can build a business together. So when you call the Brightside Ben phone team, if you're interested, tell them you want to be a business builder. You want to be one of the two or three people that I'm looking for to help me, help me spread the word, disseminate information turn people on to the longevity products, let them know, 866-735-2470. If you're interested in, uh, in just simply purchasing products, of course, you can also do that by calling 866-735-2470. Our number today is 855-660-4261, 855-660-4261, and we're talking hormones, hormone health, there's hormones of fear, there's hormones of love and safety. Excessive and chronic secretion of fear hormones results in sickness, results in disease, and this is why you never want to fall into fear any longer than an extremely short-term emergency response. There's a place for fear, quick fear, getting out of a, a, a dangerous, survival-threatening situation, life-threatening situation. Obviously, fear has a role to play, but it's the chronic, long-term secretion of fear hormones, the chronic, long-term feelings of fear that are really behind much of what we call degenerative disease. And it's impossible, really, not to access these hormones, or at least turn on these hormones of fear. By if you're watching the news and reading the newspapers, you ever notice everything on the, everything in the news, or at least most of what you see in the news, is about fear. For some reason, we like to see what's going on that's threatening our survival. We are obsessed with survival threats. Everywhere you turn, there's these incentives to feeling fear. What does that do for you? If you understand that fear is responsible for hormones of disease and hormones of destruction and hormones of catabolism or hormones of breakdown, I should say, why would we want to indulge? Why would we want to indulge in fear, 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 fear? If something is making you feel fear, aside from just a quick get out of the situation right away type of fear, if something's making you feel fear chronically, long term, get away from that. Stay away from that. Don't pay attention. It's not doing you any good. As, again, aside from a quick emergency type of situation, long-term chronic fear does not do us any good via this, this hormonal connection. Fear leads to feelings of fear, or thoughts of fear lead to horm hormones of fear. Hormones of fear lead to breakdown of the body and ultimately disease. Conversely, hormones of safety or feelings of safety and thoughts of safety and then hormones of safety lead to building lead to repair, lead to pleasure, lead to anti-aging, lead to everything we like about being alive. Is it an indulgence? No. Is it some kind of a addiction to pleasure because we want to feel safe? No. It's biologically appropriate. And please don't underestimate how important this can be. Now, certainly oxygen and water and the mighty 90 essential nutrients and the foods we eat are very important when it comes to uh, supporting the secretion of hormones of safety. But the thoughts we think and the feelings we feel do, must not be marginalized or diminished in importance. Pain, excess sugar, lousy thoughts, lousy feelings, these are surefire ways to initiate fear hormones and ultimately degeneration and degenerative disease. While less food, more protein, essential fatty acids, the mighty 90 essential nutrients, oxygen, water, kind, loving thoughts, massage, pleasing sensations, light touch, pleasing feelings, these are all ways that we 